Hello folks and welcome back to Cold Bore Contraptions. Uh, today I'm going to be installing my low primer alert system on my Lee automatic case primer. Uh, these are a couple of things. I build these things. The primer or the alert box is here. It's got a piezo in it, power supply inlet, and a sensor inlet, the sensor, and then just about any 12 volt uh, or 9 volt even uh, power supply. So to start, I need to disassemble the ACP so that I can get to the primer chute pretty easily. It's a pretty simple thing to do. This all comes out pretty easy. These little plastic jiggers come out of here. We'll get this out of the road. I have already removed the primer safety shield back here. I did that in an earlier video. Just so it would be easier for you guys to see some of the modifications I've made to it. So with that done, it's pretty easy to just take a longer Phillips screwdriver and go down through the top of it here. Just remove these two screws pretty carefully. Set that all to the side. Okay, so there we've removed the primer slide chute. Now what I need to do is this sensor here has a little, you can see here, it's got a set inside of this thing. And what I'm going to do, get this stupid camera to focus, is I'm going to take this down and I'm going to put it in the milling machine. And I'm just going to set that down in there just a little bit. That sensor, it's an inductive proximity sensor, and it needs to be within, oh, one millimeter anyhow, so in order to keep it stuck in place and get it close enough that the sensor is reliable, I'll take an end mill and just sink it in there just a little bit. I'll show you that here. Okay, so what I've done is I've chucked the chute into my vise, and I've chucked a 5 16th or 8 millimeter uh, high speed cutter into my, the, we could say this is a drill press, it's actually a milling machine, but you can do this with a drill press. Uh, I'm going to get a measurement here, and I want to go just a little bit into this. So, let me get this turned on. So I've zeroed my indicator down against here. I have measured the distance from the where the tape's going to tape fast there to the top of this pad. It's right around zero or zero point zero six zero inches. So I'm going to cut to a depth of just a little over zero point zero six inches. Okay, clean that up a little bit, and we should be able to put the sensor in place and zip tie it in place. Okay, just a couple quick notes. You do not want to cut the whole way through there. This does not need to see the primer. It will sense it. It is an uh, inductive proximity sensor. It senses metal. So what we'll do is we'll insert this here, double-sided tape it, and then zip tie it. So there I have the sensor installed. There's some double-sided tape in there and two zip ties to hold the cord in place. We'll just trim those little fellas there off. It's time to reinstall this. When running the wire, you need to run it down through here and out behind this plate. Okay, like so. Pull that wire through, slide this back into place, ok, 
Get our primer shoot back in place. Our two screws in place. And I like to start these screws. Get them down, not tight, just close. Because I like to make sure that that little spring and stuff is right back in place. back in place there make sure that arm is moving well and make sure that the primer shoot is centered real well snug our screws up all right, so that covers the installation of the sensor. And I am going to put the alarm box with some double-sided tape. I'm gonna mount it up here near my counter. This is the stem for my case feeder. Do some 3M tape there. So we'll just stick that guy right on there like so. All right. With that installed, now I'll route this wire probably under the table or something later. But with that installed, I can plug the sensor into the control box like so. Plug the power supply in and plug it into the control box. So if our alarm is working, I turn this on. All right, we have our audible alarm. Let's feed it some primers and see if it turns it off. There we go. So now what happened is when I run below the point where the sensor is, I will have an audible alarm to let me know that this chute is running out of primers as I'm priming brass. That's very nice. Well, I want to thank you guys for watching. I uh, hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you later.